Sternatia is situated in the heart of the province of Lecce, in the territory of Grecia Salentina, a Greek-speaking area where the Greek language is spoken. The town is located in a wide valley sheltered by hills, the well-known Serre Salentine, specifically the Serra of Martignano and Serra of Soleto. The agricultural and pastoral economy stands out in the verdant countryside which surrounds the town. The area's principal feature is the olive tree, orchards of which extend as far as the eye can see, all subdivided by drumstone walls typical of these rural areas. The countryside of Sternatia is rich in Mediterranean fragrances and colors. This is a rural landscape that has witnessed the tenacity of southern people, women and men who throughout the centuries have shaped the land in order to extract its rich bounty of wheat and olives. The history of an ancient agricultural society lives in the architectural style of the farmhouses, typical rural Salentinian constructions which still today prove their importance as centers of agricultural production. Here it is important to note the farmhouse Chicorizzo, a production center dating back to the 18th century and an ancient rest stop for travelers on horseback. The farmhouses possessed the strong defensive fortifications which helped guarantee the safety of the small self-sufficient agrarian community existing within the walls. The pastoral heritage is evident in a landscape which extends between Sternatia and Soleto, in a depression known as Lacco del Cabraro, used in the past for the watering of flocks. Moving towards the town, one finds other abundant green spaces within the beat-up area. In fact, the territory has a wide urban park located in the northeast section of the town, equipped for the leisure time of children and families. The Lecese limestone unifies the natural landscape with the built-up area. Today, this stone is extracted from the quarries situated a few kilometers from Sternatia and, as in the past, it is used for decorative and building purposes. This characteristic limestone is visible along the streets of the ancient village, within the harmonious spaces which dominate the urban landscape, in the characteristic sites where the greek salentinian culture is still alive. The village of Sternatia still preserves the old urban layout which was formalized at the beginning of the modern age. As early as the Angevin era, the village was protected by solid defensive walls, while the defensive castle was rebuilt by Orsini del Balzo family in the time of the county of Soleto. The renovation of the town walls, overseen by the military architect Evangelista Menga, dates back to the 16th century. In the past there were three medieval gates named Porta di Lecce, Porta Est and Porta Filia. Nowadays one can only admire the structure of Porta Filia, a name derived from the Greek word for love and friendship. For this reason it is also known as the Gate of Peace. The historical center of Sternatia surrounds the facade of the town's principal church, dedicated to the Madonna of the Assumption. The building was constructed in the 18th century on the ruins of the former parish church. Characterized by the imposing monumental forms typical of most 18th century Salentinian mother churches, it has a majestic bell tower, realized by the well-known architect from Copertino, 
Adriano Preit. Tridentine architecture is visible in the Latin cross plan and inside one notices the side altars decorated according to formal conventions of Rococo style. The devotion of Sternatia is clearly visible in the altar dedicated to St. George, patron of the town. The devotion to this holy night is very important throughout the territory of Grecia Salentina and in the world region of Otranto. Noteworthy are temporal decorations, adorning the ceiling and executed in 1864 by the painter Garganese, works which evoke biblical and evangelic events. The enchanting streets of Sternatia's historic center amply display typical architecture of the Salento. Walking through the ancient streets of the town, one can admire different buildings of incredible romantic charm, all inspired by 16th and 17th century architectural traditions. In the heart of Sternatia, one notices other architectural styles of ancient Salentinian society, such as a type of balcony called Mignano, present throughout the province of Terra d'Otranto. These balconies were especially employed by women to take advantage of cool breezes in the summer and to complete their housework such as sewing and embroidery activities in complete tranquility. Sternatia's neighbors represent the genuine essence of the Salento. These spaces are loved and lived by the inhabitants who carefully take care of the important historical heritage of the pretty ancient village. For centuries, the religious devotion of Sternatia has been fueled by the presence of the convent of the Friars of the Order of Preachers dedicated to Santa Maria of Tricase. Located in the center of town, the most ancient part of the convent of the Dominican Friars was established between the 15th and the 16th century. After the first closure, which took place during the reforms of Pope Innocent X, the structure was renovated and rebuilt in the first years of the 18th century, only to be definitively abolished and confiscated with the implementation of the Napoleonic laws at the beginning of the 19th century, during the times of Joachim Murat. The exterior of the building is austere and monumental, accenting the horizontal nature of the space. The rigorousness of the façade is interrupted by the balcony, the large gallery and the mighty entrance portal, embellished by ashlar decorations. Inside one notices the pretty and bright cloister of the convent, with a simple well positioned at the centre. Today the palace is the seat of the town hall and its administrative offices. The convent complex is flanked by the Dominican church, characterized by a solemn façade and fine decorations. The lovely portal is surmounted by the religious coat of arms of the Order of Preachers, a dog with a burning torch in its mouth. The interior is characterized by a single hall where one can admire the 18th century arts of construction and decoration of the Terra d'Otranto, exemplified by side chapels and an elegant eye altar. 
In its decorative iconography, the Church of Santa Maria of Tricase preserves the beauty and elegance of the Dominican commissions of the Southern Puglia, when sacred art was used by mendicant friars for religious instruction and evangelization of the population. fortress of Stanatia, commissioned by the Orsini del Balzo family, was transformed into one of the most charming noble residences of the province of Terra d'Otranto in the 18th century. This architectural evolution process was commissioned by the De Granafei family, feudal lords of Stanatia from 1734. Art historians attributed the design of the palace to the ingenious architect from Lecce, Mauro Manieri. The monumental portal, crowned by the noble coat of arms of the Granafe family, reinforces the linear shape of the building. The upper part of the palace is surrounded by an elegant balustrade, positioned around the entire perimeter of the facade. The building complex features two gardens, decorated with elegant etched designs which adore benches and tanks. The external spaces are organized at different levels, and they epitomize through eye points in the design of 18th century gardens. The subterranean olive oil mill, tunneled deep into solid rock, belonged to the Granafei family. It is situated near the ancient Filia Gate, where the ancient noble garden of the palace was located. Originally there were two different sections, but those were later joined to form a single oil mill, which was more efficient for producing oil. Restored in the 1980s, the underground oil mill was used until the 19th century, and even today, one can inspect the oil storage tanks and the remains of the presses for the extraction of the oil from the olive paste. For centuries, these subterranean oil mills have sustained the economy of the Salento, and still today it is possible to witness the history of the olive oil industry in this region, thanks to the restoration of this ancient granafe mill. Ternadia has an important historical artistic and religious patrimony, a legacy of the faith anchored in the Christian devotion of local people. The chapel of San Vito was rebuilt in the 17th century, situated atop a more ancient structure, probably of medieval origin. The building is located along the road which links the town with Lecce. The small church has undergone many modifications over the centuries, and inside one can admire different devotional frescoes, particularly works highlighting the Marta Saint Vitus. The Church of Madonna degli Angeli stands on the junction road between Stanatia and Galugnano. In the past, the sacred building was annexed to the small convent of the Franciscan monks, a religious community which has operated in Stanatia from the 16th century. The architectural firms are very simple and linear, as evidenced in the facade decorated with a small stone portal and a stone cross placed at the top. Very little remains today of the Franciscan convent, yet the devotion of inhabitants is still alive, especially evident on the Thursday after Easter 
with religious celebrations and recreational activities. The chapel of Madonna dei Farauli is situated along the rural road which leads to Martignano and it takes the name of the district where it is located. The small church has an interesting port decorated with two half columns and a distinctive pattern carved into the architrave. The church has undergone important modifications during the 20th century, but inside one can admire a variety of wall frescoes and an altar constructed in the 18th century by the sculptor Emanuele Orfano. The small religious architectures of Sternatia are located in the delightful countryside which surrounds the village itself and they are a witness to the ancient history of the inhabitants of this land.